Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be looking at computer hackers. You've all seen hackers in the movies, on TV, and in those scary VPN ads. They're probably wearing a black hoodie, a Guy Fawkes mask, and staring at bright green text on a screen. Sound familiar? Well, that is the stereotype hacker. They actually come in many different forms, each with their own unique skills and motivations. Some are not even evil or scary at all. In this video, we're gonna be looking at some of the different types of hackers. The different types of hackers are often described using a coloring system and a theoretical hat. For example, white hat hackers, black hat hackers, and gray hat hackers. Let's first start with the good guys, white hat hackers. Now you might be thinking, did he just say hackers were good? And yes, you heard me right. White hat hackers, also known as ethical hackers, use their hacking skills for good and searching for ways to attack a system before the real bad hackers do. White hat hackers are often employed or contracted by organizations to find potential weaknesses and to help keep that business safe from cyber attacks. The motivation of a white hat hacker is simple is to keep the world safe from the real bad guys. Black hat hackers on the other hand, now these are the real bad guys, using their skills with malicious intent. These are usually what people think about when they hear the word hacker. Black hat hackers will illegally break into systems to carry out any number of cyber attacks, such as stealing information, manipulating computer systems, or making a system unusable. Black hat hackers can be motivated by several factors, including financial gain, political benefits, competitive knowledge, or even just a sense of power. We'll cover these motives in more detail later in this section of the course. We also have grey hat hackers. And as you can probably guess, they sit somewhere between the white hat hackers and the black hat hackers. They use their skills in both legal and illegal ways, but their motivations might not always be malicious. For example, if a hacker illegally breaks into a system, but instead of doing anything malicious, they choose to report that problem to that organization. Does this make them a white hat hacker? Well, no, because they still broke the law when they accessed that organization's system without permission. But they're not exactly a black hat hacker either because they reported the weakness. So they kind of sit in this gray area, which is why we call them gray hat hackers. So those are the three main type of computer hackers that exist. However, a few other colors have appeared in recent years. They're not as common or mainstream as the first three, but they are worth knowing. Green hat hackers. Green hat hackers are amateur hackers who are eager to learn about hacking and cybersecurity. They typically have limited knowledge and experience, but they are highly motivated to learn. Blue hat hackers. Blue hat hackers are similar to white hat hackers. They are external security professionals invited by organizations to test their products or software for vulnerabilities before a product launch. Red hat hackers. Red hat hackers are the vigilantes of hackers. They fight against the black hat hackers in order to expose them and to disrupt their activities. Their motive is to help make the world a safer place from the black hat hackers. However, their methods can be a little bit unethical. Now, there is one last term that you should be familiar about when talking about hackers, and that is script kitty. Script kitty is a term used to describe someone who doesn't really know what they are doing and they're relying on tutorials and other people's tools and scripts to do the hacking. You could call these the newbies of the hacker world. Most hackers will start as script kiddies before progressing to hacker after they've learned more about the tools they're using and maybe even develop some of their own. While a lot of hackers start here, the term script kiddie is often used as an insult to other hackers. This video is part of our Security Plus in 31 Days course. If you like this video, you are gonna love the full course. Not only does it cover each exam topic in simple and easy to understand videos, but it also provides hands-on labs. These labs guide you through practical tasks like creating Trojans, cracking passwords, and sending your own phishing emails, giving you real-world experience and making your studies that much more engaging and effective. It doesn't stop there though. You also get a copy of our Security Plus in 31 Days ebook, which follows the course and covers each topic. You'll also get access to helpful downloads to support your learning, a private community where you can connect with fellow learners, 
and exclusive discounts. It really is the complete package to guide you through your Security Plus journey. Check it out in the description below. As you can tell, the world of computer hackers is a complex one with black, white and grey areas. This section will dive deeper into some of these hackers and their motives behind their attacks. Before we end, let's test your knowledge with a couple of quiz questions. Question 1. Ethan infiltrates a large corporation network without permission and steals sensitive customer data. He then sells this information on the dark web for financial gain. What type of hacker is Ethan? Is he A, a white hat, B, a grey hat, C, a red hat, or D, a black hat? The answer is D, a black hat. This is because black hat hackers engage in illegal activities such as stealing and selling sensitive information with malicious intent. Okay, one last question. After discovering a security flaw in a company's website, Alex decides to break into the system without permission. However, instead of taking advantage of this vulnerability, he reports it to the company's security team to help fix the issue. Which type of hacker is Alex? Is he A, a white hat, B, a black hat, C, a grey hat, D, a blue hat? The answer is C, a grey hat. This is because grey hat hackers operate in a kind of legal grey area by hacking into systems without permission, but they often report the vulnerabilities rather than using them for malicious purposes. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. The support from you guys really helps this channel grow. Other than that, thank you for watching.